Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest video. This is a diorama making video, and it is how to make your own terrain texture. See this stuff? It's very expensive if you buy it. You know, it's a real pain, and uh, but you can make it yourself pretty easily. And this is all made from pink home insulation foam. You can buy it. Um, this is the Pink Panther. Buy it at Home Depot, Lowe's, any home improvement store, hardware store, stuff like that. Get yourself a piece of it. And then you grind it down. Well, you don't have to grind it, but I'll show you. You can make it powdery. You can make it big and crumbly. Really uh, pretty unique, pretty cool. Nice way to accentuate your dioramas. And uh, 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 thanks for watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you might want to hit that button because I always have lots of interesting and creative projects. That's where we're all about creativity. So let's take a quick look at this here, this little diorama we've made. Just to show you some of the te techniques you can use. Well, this is the different stuff you can make. You can make kind of like grassy. You can make dirt. You can make rough grassy. You can make bushes. Right? You can make um, chipped stone like that. Uh, rubble for World War II dioramas or anything like that. All kinds of rubble. And you can even make leaves for trees like right here. So yeah, this one's not fleshed out, but be easy enough to flesh that out. So that, this is about making terrain, making your own, real easy and real cheap. So uh, let's launch into the intro, and then we will do the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Diorama is origami, catapults and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees and paper games, swords and shields and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. So grab yourself some of that pink insulating foam. You can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's or just about any hardware store. You get it in big pieces or small pieces and uh, start to tear it apart with the tool. Now a lot of different types of tools work for this. Like uh, that's a rat tail file. And this is a rasp, a wood rasp. And you can see there on the left, I also have a little saw. What type of tool you use creates the different type of texture. So you can get um, fine texture, you can get thick rubble-like texture, you know, depending on what you use. So you can check that out and experiment with that a little bit. And uh, it, it goes quick, you get a lot. See, now here's the keyhole saw, and that gets your rougher pebble-like texture. You could even use sandpaper if you wanted, but see the rougher texture? It's wonderful. And when you're making a diorama, you might want the fine texture, you might want the rough texture. And in our diorama we do in this tutorial, you'll see some of that. See, look, on the left is fine and on the right is rougher. It makes for a nice variety and an interesting uh, to your eye when you're looking at the diorama. So now you don't want it pink, you want to paint it. So use any kind of paint, any kind of crate and barrel, any kind of acrylic, anything like that. Mix it about half with water and then slowly pour in your, your terrain texture because you can add more or you can add a little bit more water to get it to a nice consistency. And now once you get it mixed, spread it all out on paper to let it dry. And for a second, I almost put the fan on it. That probably not a good idea. But just let it dry out for a while and it'll be wonderful. Now you can experiment with colors and of course you can use different colors, but you can actually experiment a little bit with colors. Like here's some green and some yellow. Um, See, you add your water. See, it's really nice. Looks really good. That's the rougher texture. And it just comes out just as nice for the bigger bits. And just spread it out. And some of it will, the wetness will absorb through the paper. So you can, you know, change it onto a new paper to dry it out quicker. You can even put another sheet of paper over it. But I wanted to show you this is kind of interesting. I've got a bunch of green in there already. Add a little bit more foam. Some green and some yellow, but the predominantly the yellow. And it gives a really nice look here when you start mixing colors. See how it's um, various like that? It's some green and some yellow. I like that look. It looks really nice. That's interesting terrain texture. Now, if you can't get the pink insulating foam, you probably have some of this styrofoam. And that does have some uses too. You can't get the really fine stuff out of it, but you can use it. In this case, we're using it, um, use a file or pick it off to make the different things. And uh, 
and using it to make flowers. So add some red to it. And we're going to put those flowers right in the little diorama we make. You know, I have lots of diorama making tutorials, all kinds of stuff. So you might want to po uh, poke through my videos and take a look if you think you're interested in dioramas. So let's make, the di let's make this one. Some chunks of foam to make uh, big rock structures. And those are actually bushes. Okay, you just cut yourself some uh, bushes. And we'll make our tree by popping some glue on it. And you want a high-tacked glue if you can get it. And then you can roll it in, uh, in your green texture to flesh it out a little bit. And how do we do the ground? Uh, mix a 50-50 mix of uh, PVA glue, that's the white glue, and water. And then brush that on your terrain. And you can see here we're just doing the green right now, so just put the white glue on that and then sprinkle on your texture and shake off any excess and if you're having trouble having it stay you can actually put white glue with a 50-50 mix of water in a spray bottle and spray it on to seal it all afterwards it looks good roll your bushes in the texture like this that's good. Now this is just a fun little diorama just to show you the different techniques. If you make one or you make use this technique, be sure to send me a picture. I'd love to put it on the website. There we go. The gray, the, the ground, the brown is laid out for the soil, the green. We're popping our tree in there. Looks really good. Fun little diorama. Doesn't take long to make. Now rubble. We use bigger chunks that we use the keyhole saw for to make um, big chunks and we painted and we mix those with gray paint. It's good, especially if you want to do a military dioramas like rubble of buildings and stuff like that. And I do have uh, a full tutorial that's like 10 videos long on how to make a World War II diorama. You might want to check that out if you like that kind of thing. And I animate it too. That's kind of was a fun project. And then so sprinkle on your rubble. Very nice. Let's finish it off with some yellow flowers and some red flowers on the bushes. That's pretty much that. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through all the way through this video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. That's the finished little diorama. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you have questions about this technique or diorama techniques, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer my read to all comments. That's it. Get creative. Let's put some little figures on there and have some fun with it. Here is some more diorama stuff. There is a Hobbit diorama, the Storm the Castle diorama that's seven feet, a Halloween diorama, and on the, le on the lower left there is something else you can make with this same type of foam. Thanks for watching.